everyone, welcome back to another story time with the Children's Museum of Cleveland. Today's story is about music. Our first story is called The Story of Rock, perfect for baby rockers. There's an old song that says, blues music has soul. Then blues had a baby and named it rock and roll. Chuck Berry came along with a guitar and made, and made it sing. Elvis Presley shook up things and the people crowned him king. Bob Dylan gave us poetry, the Rolling Stones brought style, and then beat, with Beatlemania, rock made the world go wild. In the long summer of love, Janis Joplin's voice rang loud. The Who smashed their instruments, the dead jammed for the crowd. In 69 at Woodstock, hippies gathered all around. Hendrix wailed on his guitar. It made such an awesome sound. Aerosmith dreamed on while Zeppelin played full blast. The Ramones played punk rock really, really fast. ACDC wore school uniforms while playing back in black. Scaramouche sang Queen as they brought the opera back. David Bowie sang Let's Dance. Oh, the man knew how to dress. Tina Turner ruled the 80s. Her voice was simply best. The 80s rock had big screams and even bigger hair. Slash couldn't see his guitar. Bon Jovi was living on a prayer. Pearl Jam and Nirvana rocked with the lights out. In Seattle, grunge was born and confused with rock, no doubt. Weezer dressed like Buddy Holly and their cruises were a ball. And who knew the White Stripes weren't really brother and sister at all. Now, some people say that rock is dead. Most greats are in the sky. But the real truth is, is that rock and roll will never, ever die. The end. Okay, hey, my friends, we're gonna read this story, which is called Play Me Some Music by Emily Bannister and Julia Wolf. This book is an inspirational book for little music lovers. Play me some music on a funny banjo. As we walk down the street, our hearts all aglow. Play me some music with a full marching band a carnival of colors and costumes so grand. Play me some music with a quartet of strings, a swirl of fine dancers, 12 swans with white wings. Play me some music on a guitar extra loud. We'll jump up and down and join in with the crowd. Play me some music on a piano and drum, a True birthday wish with cake, yum, yum, yum. Play me some music on a harp and a flute for ladies in ball gowns and men in smart suits. Play me some music on a violin so blue, a goodbye message from us sent to you. Play me some music on a bright tambourine, the finest school shows that you've ever seen. Play me some music on a black clarinet, a soft lullaby, my favorite one yet. Music is everywhere, just listen and you'll see. From sounds of the city to under the sea. So pick up an instrument and start to play. Music is magic, it can brighten your day. Now it's your turn. Can you play me a tune? A rat-a-tat-tat? A tube with a spoon? Try shaking a treat jar or clapping your hands? Crash! Play the cymbals with the lids from two pans. Make a rubber band twang on a homemade guitar. Puff a note through a bottle, then bow like a star. You don't need a keyboard, a harp, or a gong. Just open your mouth and sing me a song. The end. And now my friends, it is time for our last story. This 
It's called Because. The score is written by Mo Willems and the performance is by Amber Wren. Because a man named Ludwig wrote beautiful music, a man named Franz was inspired to create his own. Because many years later, people wanted to hear Franz's music, they formed an orchestra. Because the man had practiced since he was a kid, he was asked to join. Because a woman studied night and day, she too was asked to play. Because many others loved and practiced their instruments, there were enough musicians. Because someone created a poster about Franz's music, tickets were sold. Because the train conductor stopped the train at the Grand Concert Hall, the orchestra conductor arrived. Because the orchestra librarian had copies of the score, the orchestra rehearsed. Because workers checked the lights and the seats and swept the floors of the Grand Hall. Because the time had come, the ushers had opened the doors. Because someone's uncle caught a cold, someone's aunt had an extra ticket for someone special. Because the usher helped the aunt and her special guests, they found their seats. Because everyone was there to hear beautiful music, it was quiet. In row C, seat 14, the girl sat with her uncle's ticket. She heard beautiful music written by a man named Franz and it changed her. The girl was changed. From that moment on, the girl learned everything she could about music because it fed her. Soon, she started to write music too because like Franz, the young woman had something to share. Over time, the woman became very good because she worked very hard. One night, her music was discovered because she was also very lucky. She was invited to perform her music at the Grand Concert Hall because so many people wanted to hear it. Her composition was dedicated to the uncle in Rosie seat 14 because it was his ticket that brought her here and that night someone else was changed and that is how it happened the end for more programming like this see cmcleveland.org